Remove stitches three, four, and five on a three prong tool and move them to needles six, seven, and eight. And then remove stitches nine, 10, and 11 and place them on the same needles. Skip the next three needles and then repeat this motion across the bed all the way out to one side. There will always be three needles in between each repeat that only have one stitch on each needle. And then three empty needles three needles that carry three stitches each, and three more empty needles. And work as far out to each side as you possibly can, getting uh, the minimum, a half repeat out at one of the edges. So in that case, there will just be three needles that hold two stitches right out at the edge, as you can see right now. At this left edge, I'll just have room for half a repeat right there. Now I'm going to use a, um, an adjustable needle pusher to push out the first and third empty needle in each group of three to holding position rather than just working position because the stitches will knit cleaner. Checking to make sure that any needles that might have pulled forward have been adjusted and then I'm going to knit one row. Now I'll use a regular every other needle needle pusher and I'll push the remaining empty needles as well as a few others out to holding position and I'll follow this by knitting the three plain rows before the next repeat. After checking the chart, I'll move the stitches from needles 5, 6, and 7 onto needles 2, 3, and 4, and then I'll move the stitches from needles 1, 1, and 2 onto the same needles. Then, just as I did for the last row of uh, transfers, I'll continue working all the way out to each edge as far as I possibly can. If you don't have an adjustable needle pusher like this one, you can simply use your fingers to push the first and third empty needle in each group out to holding position. But it really is a huge time saver, so if you can locate an adjustable pusher for your machine, you should try to find one.